Consider this, and I know this because I ran a, I was president of a small soccer club here in the in Houston area, meaning, you know. Dynamo? Yeah. Dynamo. <laughs> Heard of no, it. Sm yeah. Small. Small. And our our annual budget Little was, guys, was right. millions. Yeah. So a small, what I would consider a community soccer club that was ma mainly just, you know, servicing our small um, yeah. Our small neighborhood. That's amazing. Had a budget because I saw it of close to two million dollars. That is insane. So where the money come from? Came from the parents. All of it. They're forking out the hundred and fifty bucks for little Johnny and More Susie. Than that. Wow. And and most of it went to professional coaches. So it all came from. It wasn't like sponsors. Or... We had some sponsors too, but most of our sponsor money was earmarked for particular things like. Lights and lights yeah, on the field. Yeah, and, I mean, it was a big, big, big picture, but laundry, laundry. <laughs> but um, you know, year this to is year, a select like club. It was a. It would have been considered a competitive club, select club. That's amazing. Um, but it was small. million. It was yeah, small. a couple million at that level. And we were. And this is so. There's a lot of money. Nine yeah. late nineties, uh, early two thousands. So this is a while ago. But and that's was, not money. So that much money. And most of it was going to salaries. Most of it was going salaries, because you had to have professional coaches if you're going to compete. You have to have. You go look at the clubs right now. There are very, very few volunteer parent coaches. If the parents are involved, they're managers of some sort. It's all professional. Really? Soccer. I'm talking soccer. Soccer. All professional coaches. All earning a living. Uh, most of them. A lot of them full time. Now they're not making a fortune, but yeah, 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 yeah. But who's? But if you think about, you know, so if the premise is that we're missing out on some of the real character, society building benefits of sports because we're too preoccupied with the money, then that says, well, follow the money. Where's the money? Usually, whenever you talk about follow the money, there's somebody who's the benefactor of the money at the end of it all. Right, so, so at the youth it's level, not the guy making forty thousand dollars because he's coaching a youth sports league. Well, but I mean, at the small ones, that it, it that is ultimately where the money's going, right? Most. But what's driving it isn't somebody who wants money. It's not what's driving it isn't somebody who's figured out how to m turn this into money. What's driving it is parents who want their kids to be in a right. Highly competitive, right. so that they can be multimillionaires. I don't. Uh, I, don't I mean, I think scholarship. Don't get me wrong. I, I think that's, we yeah. are still reaping the benefit. I think yeah. it just gets masked with all this other. Yeah. To your point about driving, you know, every night hither and yon. Because what would be so bad? So let me ask you this: What would be so bad if instead of all that, you had kids? Playing in a sports league where there were no professionals, a bunch of parents volunteering. Everybody played their asses off, tried to win, and at the end of the game, whoever won, won, and whoever lost, lost. You came back, you tried harder. Next time, the end. I think you just saw that. The end. When you were in France for a month. Yeah. Yeah, There's like the end. The community. Like that would actually. League. That would give us. That would give our young people growing up the benefit that you ought to get from sports, right? So everything beyond that, everything beyond, you know, just a a organized, more supervised version of what happens in the schoolyard is all about other objectives. <laughs>